Hello everyone and welcome. On this episode of Future Shop, we are going to get rid of the inspector item creation and job creation and also we are going to be starting on crafting. So if you want to know how that's done, stick around and let's go ahead and start it. Well, just like we did with the characters on the last episode, we are going to be changing the way we create jobs and items from being on the inspector and rather be on the code side. If you want to know how that's done, go ahead and check last episode and for now let's start this with a time lapse. Okay, with that in place, let's go ahead and create a way for us to craft items. And the first thing we are going to need is a model of a crafted item. So let's go ahead and create a new C -sharp script in our model folder and let's call it crafted item. If we jump to Visual Studio and we reload it, open crafted item, we can go ahead and delete all this because this isn't going to be a mono behavior class. However, it's going to be extending from item. And if you just do that, this crafted item class 
will inherit the variables of the item class. And those variables, for the time being, are simply the name. But let's go ahead and do that because it's good practice. But as you can see, we have an error. So let's go ahead and show the potential fixes, which are, of course, generating a constructor. And as you can see, this is the constructor for our crafted items. However, we want, we want to have um, a list of required items that we will need in order for us to craft this specific item. So let's go ahead and create a public list of items and let's call it required items. And just like we did with the items, let's go ahead and add that to the constructor. So let's go list of item required items and let's go this dot required items is going to be equal to required item. And with that in place, let's go ahead and jump into the item controller. Here we want to create a new private list for our crafted items and let's call this crafted items. And this list will hold all the crafted items that we are going to be able to craft. And to do that, we now need to create a new void, create crafted items, and we pass in a crafted item CI, and we add that to the crafted items list. Now we need to instantiate that list, so crafted items is equals to a new list of crafted items. And after we create all the regular items, we go ahead and create the crafted items. And in order for us to create the crafted items, a crafted item, we go create crafted items or create crafted item in this case and we can simply go new crafted item we give it a name so let's go ahead and create a new I don't know circuit yeah and then we need to pass in a list so we can go new list of items and then if we open and close curly brackets we can specify the items that will be part of that list. And let's go ahead and use the items that we just created earlier. So let's go items with an index of zero, which in this case is going to be wires. And let's go ahead and use wires and electronics to get circuits. So let's go items with an index of zero and items with an index of one. And this is going to be the way we are going to be creating crafted items. Well, in order for us to get crafted items, we need a new panel where we can craft them. So let's start by creating or by duplicating this button right here. And let's add it into here. Let's change the name of the button to crafting button. And this crafting button will get us to the crafting panel. So let's add the new symbol right there and let's go ahead and duplicate the job holder and change the name to crafting holder. Let's add it here. Let's change this to crafting text. Let's change the name to craft crafting crafted items and we do not need this let's enable the craft the character holder and let's go and on the button for the crafting we want to say 
hey I want you to open this if you run the game as it is there's no errors at the moment we can open the crafting menu the inventory and the menu and we can do the same basically the same thing however now we want here on the crafting holder we want to display all the crafting items that we can create so in order for us to do so well while playing around with this i found something a little bit buggy and that that is if we create a crafted item this way we can create this circuit if we have one wire and one electronic however what if we want this circuit to be created with two wires and three electronics for some reason and I was thinking about that for a while and I thought I have something for that don't I yes I have this item stack class that has an item and an amount so then I thought this list instead of being about items it really should be about item stacks so let's go ahead and change that really quickly so let's go list of item stacks for item stack and it's a required item so we need to change that over here and when we are creating the list right here we need the list to be of item stacks and this is going to be a new item stack and the item is going to be that one and let's say we need two wires for this right and then I don't know let's go three electronics so new item stack with items one which is electronics and have three of that well with this change we now can create circuits using two wires and three electronics well now we need to display these crafted items that we are creating right here however time is running out and i need to wrap up this episode so on the next episode we are going to be displaying the crafted available items to craft and we are going to be crafting items so when we click on that we are going to get that item in our inventory so yeah until the next episode i hope you guys enjoyed this one if you did i would really appreciate if you leave a like comment and subscribe on the video and yeah i will see you on the next one cheers